everyone welcome back again to mrs Rayful channel thank you for watching my videos and for subscribing i really appreciate it so today i'm going to share with you my ghana corned beef jollof rice and this is a very easy and tasty recipe so as usual please stay tuned if you are interested and i'll see you next time for another recipe take care and bye bye you need two or three onions and I'm using three you also need salt to taste I'll be also adding hot curry powder and this time I decided to use powder Ghana chili and this one is very very hot one Maggi cube Also, beef seasoning since it is beef con beef jollof, and I'm also adding two bay leaves. Here I have the main ingredient: two cans of corned beef, and of course you need vegetable oil. I'm using two cans of peeled tomato. And here I have one small onion, two garlic cloves, a bit of ginger, and a bit of Thai peppers. But if you don't have these peppers, of course, don't use it. And I'm going to be using one tube of tomato puree. So now let's get right into it. So pour oil in a large pan and let it heat. Once the oil is hot, you can add your chopped onion and then stir it and let it cook on a medium heat until the onion becomes tender. Next, add one teaspoon of hot curry powder and one teaspoon of hot chili powder and stir it and let it cook for about one to two minutes you can now add one full tube of tomato puree if you don't have tomato puree you can also use tomato paste and then stir it and let it cook for about five to seven minutes in the meantime in your blender add once more onion your ginger your two garlic cloves and your Thai peppers and as I was saying if you don't have Thai peppers just use regular one or you can use even the powdered one then add a bit of water and blend it until everything becomes very smooth you can now add the mixture to the onion and tomatoes stir it well and let it cook for about 10 minutes on a medium heat to low heat next in your blender once again add your two cans of plum tomato and then add your chili powder and of course the quantity of chili powder you add really depends on you I really like it hot you can also use chopped tomato or fresh tomato if you prefer and let it mix once it is well mixed add it to the tomato and onion and make sure you give it a good stir and let it cook for another 10 minutes you can now add two bay leaves and of course this is also optional but I really like the flavors cover it and let it cook for another 10-15 minutes it is now time to add the corned beef the corned beef was a bit hot so I warmed it in my microwave but of course you don't have to do it so add it and stir it and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes and of course always on a medium heat making sure it doesn't burn I am now adding my Maggi cube stock you can also directly add the beef one or the shrimp one it really depends on your taste don't forget to stir it once again and let it cook for another two minutes what I usually do is that I take a bit of stew 
because I like to eat it with my jello fries and of course this is optional but it's a good idea it's now time to add the rice so I'm using basmati rice I have about five to six cups and I have washed it feel free to wash it or not I don't usually wash it but I did this time and then give it a good stir so this next step is my uh, little method so what you do is add about two glasses of water and then add your beef stock and mix it so that it can dissolve once you do that add it to the rice and stir it you can always repeat this action if you think your rice is taking a bit too long to cook okay so then mix it now add salt to your taste or any other seasoning you fancy and cover your rice with foil if you don't have foil don't worry use a plain plastic white bag okay use that but if you have foil it's even better and make sure you cover it very well and put the lid on it and let it cook for about 30 to 40 minutes so here my rice has been cooking for about 20 minutes and I'm making sure I'm stirring it to prevent it from burning and to making sure it cooks even evenly sorry and here is my rice again so this is now after 35 minutes and I'm now stirring it with the fork as you can see and this is a close-up as usual you know me of my combined jello fries and it looks perfect and this is also my uh, my own thing I'm just adding some you know some tiny bits of combi stew to make it nice and to eat it like that but of course this is my personal preferences feel free to do it enough guys so everyone this this is how i prepare my ghana corn beef jollof rice as you can see it's very easy and the chicken you see here it's also on my channel it's spicy grilled chicken and this is my avocado sauce it's also on my channel see if you like everything you see here please give me a thumbs up leave me a nice comment please i really appreciate it. i always reply and i'll see you next time for another recipe peace